Hi everyone, I'm Jean, one of the teen librarians here at CCPL, and one book that I just finished was Marie Lou's new book, The Kingdom of Back. Um, in this one, she does a slight pivot from her traditional sci-fi fantasy to historical fantasy. And it is actually a passion project of hers that she was finally able to get published. It is about Mozart's little known sister, Maria Anna, otherwise known as Navarro, and her journey of growing up because she was also a musical prodigy, but born in the wrong place and wrong time and having also a very talented brother, she kind of got overlooked and forgotten. So it, it actually kind of goes into that theme of being forgotten because she knows that in order to maybe make her mark on the world, she's going to have to work really hard and maybe get published, which unfortunately, as we know, is on becoming a woman to be published in the late 18th century. So it follows them as they go through the courts of Europe, playing for the different nobility and kings and queens, and gaining recognition for their talent at such a young age. I think it starts when she's about 12 years old, and she has this yearning to be remembered. And as she grows older, she realizes that her dream is slowly being taken away from her. Um, but one day, in comes the fantasy part, she is met with a fairy princeling who promises that he can grant her greatest wish if she just helps him to regain his throne. And if any of you have ever read any traditional fairy tales, you know that whenever there's magical folk involved, there's usually a bigger agenda than what they prove to be. So she kind of has to decide if granting her greatest wish is worth the ultimate price that it's going to take. So if you enjoy historical fantasy or some like grim-esque fantasy, um, or you just a Marie Lou fan, you can check it out on our um, Overdrive. We have the audio and the ebook ready for you guys. Um, and let us know what you think.